tonight, I'm going to be performing classic magic. The magicians have been performing for many years, but I'm going to put my spin on it and use it to tell a story about a very special person and one of the people who inspires me the most in magic. He was born in 1918, and he went on to become one of the youngest members of the Magic Circle at the time in 1936. When, war, when World War II broke out, he enlisted into the Royal Artillery and he was sent to the front line in Singapore where he fought bravely for king and country. While he was there, he underwent heavy fighting. He lost many of his friends and he himself was shot numerous times and severely wounded. His family thought he was dead, but in fact, he was captured and he spent the next three years of his life in a prisoner of war camp. Amanda, would you sign this card as quick as you can for me? While he was in the camps, he underwent brutal treatment on a daily basis, treatment that no person should ever have to go through. But one thing that did keep him going was his ability to perform magic. Because he would perform not only for his comrades to keep morale high, but he would also perform for the guards who would give him and his friends extra food during the long periods of starvation. But he would have, his favorite trick was to have a sign, a name, to rip it into pieces, to burn it, completely destroying it, pass, fix. And in a second of impossibility, restore hope among his comrades. This is the story that makes me proud to be British. This is the story of Mr. Fergus Ancorn. I'm very proud and honoured to present to you tonight the man himself at 97 years of age, Mr. Fergus Catch up on other performances from this series by clicking on the info card in the corner.